Thank you so much for being here. Solar power is scaling up faster than cell phones. For six years running, half the world's additions of electric generating capacity have been renewable, and the fastest growing parts have been the modular mass-produced renewables like solar and wind power. In each of the past three years, they've added over 80 billion watts and won a quarter trillion dollars of private investment. So America now has more solar jobs than we have coal or steel jobs. China last year added more solar power than the United States has. Uh, and the year before, China got more electricity from wind power than from nuclear power. Nuclear and coal plants prospects uh, are <coughs> uh, fading worldwide because wind and solar power are cheaper uh, and can also make grids resilient, preventing cascading blackouts. But these modern renewables also scale up in a fundamentally different way. Traditionally, we built giant cathedral-like power plants uh, each costing billions of dollars and taking many years to license and build. But now each year you can build a factory that produces each year thereafter enough solar cells to generate each year thereafter as much electricity as your cathedral ultimately will. So solar output scales up incredibly quickly. <coughs> Mass producing solar and wind equipment makes it cheaper, so it grows faster, so it gets cheaper, so it grows faster. In 20 states today, entrepreneurs will put solar power on your roof with no money down and beat your utility bill, and soon they'll offer cash back. Yet, many people still claim that solar cells and wind power are too variable to produce much electricity reliably, because uh, we can't cheaply store huge amounts for when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow. That's a myth. We do not need a storage breakthrough. We do not need supposedly 24-7 base load coal and nuclear uh, power plants to keep the lights on, and here's why. First, variable does not mean unpredictable. We can predict solar and wind power at least as accurately as demand. In this stormy winter month, uh, forecast output from all the French wind farms almost exactly matched their actual output a day later. But also, <clears throat> we, secondly, we built the electric grid because no kind of power plant is 24-7. They all break. Those giant power plants are shut down about 10 or 12% of the time, losing a billion watts maybe in milliseconds, often for weeks or months, often without warning. The grid handles this intermittence by backing up failed plants with working plants. In exactly the same way, but often at lower cost, the grid can manage the forecastable variation of solar and wind power by combining them with renewables in other places or of other kinds. Let me show you how this can work. Uh, for example, the isolated Texas grid's uh, <coughs> summer electric loads can get much smaller and less peaky with more efficient use, profitably. Now, combining 86% wind and solar power with 14% other dispatchable renewables creates surpluses uh, that can charge up uh, ice storage air conditioners and electric cars. And then recovering that distributed storage when needed and filling the last uh, gaps with unobtrusively flexible demand can then deliver 100% renewable electricity every hour of the year with only 5% left over. Using such choreography, some European countries, without adding bulk storage, are already delivering 25 to 58% renewable electricity, far more reliable than America's. Iowa and South Dakota as well are over one-fourth wind-powered today. So they in Europe have already far transcended renewable power's supposed reliability limits. Whatever exists is possible. <clears throat> the National Renewable Energy Lab has also choreographed reliable 80 or 90 percent renewable electricity for the lower 48 United States. Bottom line, bulk electricity storage and fossil fuel backup are the costliest ways to make the grid more flexible, so we would use them last, not first. A breakthrough in cheap bulk storage would be helpful, but not vital. We needn't wait for it, and the market isn't waiting. Only the myth holds us back. Thank you.